Hello gamers, my name is Seed of Gamer and welcome back. It is November the 3rd, so third day of November. Things are going, things are going pretty good, not much really happening here. I mean, it wasn't the cleanest of shaves, so there is a bit of stubble, but yeah, it's it's mostly going alright. It's going, going pretty good. Uh, pretty, pretty normal day today. Just uh, went on the, well, got back like a couple hours ago and I had some food because, good grief, do I get hungry after those walks. It's, uh, it's a little ridiculous. Maybe I need to like have some food before I go on the walk. I don't know. There's, there's some stuff I need to figure out. It's like the first week. It'll be a, it'll just be a trial trying to get through all of this first week. And we'll learn, we'll get better, and things will go a lot smoother after that. It'll be great. Yeah, it's, uh, not much to really say today. Not much has really happened. Um, yeah, it's just been a, been a fairly normal day. No, like, raids happened on... The Pokemon Go side of things. Uh, the Halloween event has officially ended. So no more overabundance of like Ghastlies and Burnettes. Well, not Burnettes. I didn't see any. I didn't see any evolved forms of the Gen 3 ghosts. So no Burnett, no Dusclops. I mean, I got plenty of candy to evolve them, but yeah. Strange. Anyway. I uh, didn't get any shinies, although a friend of mine did, so good on good on you. Getting that getting that shiny Duskull. That was, that was good. I don't know if you can still find the shinies. I would be surprised if it was impossible. But yeah. I would I would hope you can. I would hope you can. Um I got started on playing Super Mario Odyssey today, and that's a fun game. Oh man, I can I can see where the next eight months of having a Nintendo Switch are going to go. Because there's a lot of stuff to collect in that game. Uh, main premise, it's a Mario game, so Bowser kidnaps Princess, go save Princess. That That's the story. But there's a lo lot of collectibles. So like, in most of your 3D Mario games, so like, well, what are, what are the main ones? Mario 64... Galaxy, Sunshine, that sort of stuff. There's like 120 of Thing to collect with like a bonus 121st star once you've gotten all of them. Um, surprisingly, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild followed the same thing. There are 120 shrines. There were also 900 Koroks, but we don't count them. Yeah, it's a... Uh, that was a fun game, Breath of the Wild. Finally finished that yesterday, actually. Uh, so I lied to you at the beginning of the the first day. I was like, aha, I've beaten Breath of the Wild, but I hadn't actually beaten Breath of the Wild. I was like a couple of hours off beating it, so I felt, felt like that was fine. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, Mario Odyssey seems to have a few more than that. Because, well, I mean, pretty much the first world that you go to, like the first main world after like, hey, here's tutorials. Like The first main world is like the desert world. And there's like 69 of the MacGuffin to get. So I get the feeling there's going to be more than 120. I don't know the exact number. I want to say it's um, following in Breath of the Wild's footsteps and it's going to be about 900. But I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong. And that's not even the only collectible to get. There's also like world specific coins that you can get. It's so like they're the purple coins, and there's like a varying amount based on the world that you're in. I think it's like uh, the first world, there's like 50 in the like desert, well, sorry, in the first world. The tutorial world, there's like 50, there's like 100 in the desert world. I don't know about any other worlds because I've only been to, the, I've only been as far as the desert world. I've beaten the desert world and can now go further, but haven't yet. It's going to be going to be interesting to see how that game plays out. I get the feeling I'm going to enjoy it quite a bit. Because, uh, last 3D Mario game I played was Super Mario Galaxy. Uh, the first one. Never actually got the second one. But the first one was really fun. And, uh, had a, had a lot of fun going through that. And then again as the Luigi part, because, hey, bonus game two, new game plus. 
collect 121 stars again. That, that was a good time. I mean, what was the... There was a 3D Mario game for the DS that I also played. I can't remember what the name of it was. Oh well. Was it New Super Mario 3D World? I might actually just have it here. Um... 3D Land. I think World was the Wii U one. Can't remember, but... Yeah, that was that was also good. I guess that was technically a 3D Mario game, but it wasn't like an open-world 3D Mario game. It was a 3D Mario game that followed like the normal stage layout of a 2D Mario game. So like, eight worlds go through various stages, as opposed to something like Galaxy or this sort of, or Odyssey, where it's, here's the world, have fun finding the stars. Like, it'll give you, like, hey, here's a thing that you can do to get a star, or, in this case, a power moon, which are apparently less powerful than stars, I guess, because you need, apparently, 900 of them to beat the game, or something like that. Either way, it's a fun game, I'm gonna have fun playing it. Uh, as first impressions review, Good game, by game, if you have a Switch. it It's worth getting. If you like that sort of platforming thing, but yeah. If you're buying a Nintendo Switch, you probably have played Mario games in the past. So, yeah. It's good. It's a good game. Anyway, uh, I think that's probably going to be it for me for today. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, check out Movember, donate if you can, uh, or if you want to. Well, well I mean probably have to be able to to want to but anyway donate if you want to and you can or just donate if you can i don't know i'm bad at self-promotion i think that's going to be it for me so i will see you people tomorrow uh, tomorrow is saturday i don't think i've got anything special on saturday so again normal video and yeah that's gonna be it for me see ya